Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message. And continuing our little Find What Feels Good series, we're back in the kitchen talking about food. So a few weeks ago, I did a message about self-medicating with food. And I've done other messages about finding what works for you as far as food and eating plans. I hate the word diet. I don't think anybody likes it. But I just wanted to do a new message because since we're focusing on find what feels good, I found what feels good doesn't only feel, only feel good, it feels great to me. It's something that I did a long time ago and I'm doing it again. I went back on Weight Watchers. So not every eating plan is going to work for everybody, but believe me, I've tried everything the last few years. And, and like I've said before, I did a lot of self-medicating with food because I'm kind of stuck here with my mom. There's a lot of isolation. So the thing that I turned to to keep me company and the thing that I look forward to was food and sugar. So I, I gained a little bit of weight and I had a really hard time losing it. And I was trying all kinds of different eating plans because as a holistic health practitioner, I'm constantly doing research about food and health and wellness. And I'm constantly being sent articles about different things. And I've tried just about everything that crosses my path. Like, that sounds good. Maybe that'll work for me. That makes sense. I'm going to do that. And I, I have done everything. I've done the, the bulletproof thing with the butter and the coffee and the, the fat heavy meals where it's supposed to be mostly fat and vegetables. And that requires a lot of grass fed beef. And I don't really eat red meat that much. I'm not completely opposed to it, but it's just generally not a part of my diet. So that didn't really work that well for me because you have to be really, really strict. If you include carbs or any kind of sugar, like you couldn't even have fruit on that eating plan. And so that, that didn't really work for me. I wound up gaining weight. And I, you know, I've tried other things like re replacement shakes for the meals and uh, intermittent fasting and cutting down my portions and counting my calories. And I've done everything. And I might lose a little bit of weight, but I feel so restricted. And that is the worst. And, you know, I'll share another resource for you if you'd like to check this out. Uh, at the tappingsolution.com, Jessica Ordner has a plan for ideal body and weight loss. And it's using tapping to adjust your cravings so that you can kind of reprogram your, your mind, your thought process, your energy system to... Uh, gear it more towards healthier foods and to alleviate your cravings when you have those overwhelming cravings for either junk food or uh, salt or sugar or fat, that kind of thing. It really helps. And I've used that and it definitely helps me, but I just have a hard time with just sticking to certain kind of food. So that is why I went back on Weight Watchers. I thought I'm just going to give it a try again. I did a three month trial and from day one, I was like, oh my God, this works for me. It was the guidance that I needed and I'm eating so much better. And it's interesting because these other plans that I've tried definitely don't work when you're on Weight Watchers because things that have a lot of fat, even if they're healthy fat, there are a lot of points. And I, I have a good friend that has been doing Weight Watchers for years. She's like the expert. <laughs> she, she could definitely be working at Weight Watchers and running a lot of their uh, corporate programs because she just knows it so well. And that's just what she's good at with businesses anyway. So I check in with her a lot. I just do the online version. I don't go to meetings because I also, uh, when I would go to meetings in the beginning, when I first started, I, I first did it um, about six years ago and I just needed to lose about 10 pounds, kind of the same as now. And it came up pretty quickly, but I would go to meetings and I was expecting to meet great people and kind of bond with them and get to know them and see them every week and provide mutual support. And uh, with, with me, it's weird. I kind of had a, oh, it sounds weird to say, but it was kind of like a different kind of um, discrimination because since I'm not incredibly overweight, a lot of people looked at me like, why are you here? And when I would tell people I was doing Weight Watchers, that's the response I got to like, why are you doing Weight Watchers? Like, cause I need to lose some weight. And this is a program that I feel supports me that works for me. And also because I want to prevent five pounds from turning into 10 and then 15 and 20 and you know, a 50, a hundred, you never know you, you, it's best to just nip it in the bud <laughs> and get control of it and find something that works and feels good now when it's not so out of control. But I do love their little social media sites called Connect. And there's so many people who are posting their, their pictures of when they're just starting out or 
their before and after pictures, like where they are now on their journey and how far they have to go and, and all of the little victories. They have all these little hashtags that I've had to learn. There's NSV, which is non-scale victory. Like you fit into a certain piece of clothing that you haven't been in in years, but it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with what the scale says. So I just, I find, and now that Oprah's involved, it's really fun because she does a video every week and she provides recipes that she really likes, which I've tried a few and I really love it. So if you like to eat real food and you feel completely deprived, if you're only supposed to eat a certain kind of food and restrict yourself and not eat that, only this, more of this, less of that, none of that at all, that doesn't work for me. So if that doesn't work for you, you might want to try Weight Watchers. Because um, you can eat whatever you want. You just have to watch your points. And they have revamped their whole point system as of, oops, sorry. Um, I don't know how long, maybe two years ago. I remember when my friend who's on it, she told me about how they changed this whole point system and recalculated things. And I, it, it sounded super strict the way she told me about it. But, oh, my God, it totally works for me. Because I think one of the things they did was they made things with fat and sugar have higher points so that you eat less of it. And fruit and vegetables are zero points, which is awesome. I've never eaten so much fruit in my life. And it's summer right now, but I still anticipate eating a lot of fruit going uh, forward, even when the seasons change. And, you know, one of my best friends and my coach, Mora, is a nutritional expert and studies with um, medical medium, Anthony William. And there's this fruit fear. Everybody's afraid of fruit. And was, oh, and people say that to me now. Oh, there's so much sugar in fruit. It's like, not really. You know, if, if you drink fruit juice, there are points in fruit juice. I, God, there's just so much you can learn from the Weight Watchers point system. So I don't drink fruit juice. I eat a lot of fruit. So I eat it morning, noon, and night and in different ways and different combinations. But I kind of, I like to have a routine and I usually have foods that I will be eating on a regular basis because they sound good to me. I'll get on a kick. You know, I've, I've had different kicks throughout my life. When I was a teenager, I had a quiche kick where I learned how to make quiche and I ate it all the time. And then I had a fried shrimp kick where I was eating fried shrimp all the time. And then I had a, a French bread pizza kick where I was eating French bread pizza all the time. So, and actually I'm on another shrimp kick now because shrimp is very low in points. And I found this really good coconut shrimp recipe that's baked and my whole dinner with six shrimp and a little dipping sauce is only four points. Oh my God. I get 30 points a day. So it's kind of fun to budget your points and figure out what you're going to have. And I find that it helps to figure out ahead of time, especially if I'm going to an event. I went to a, a barbecue last weekend. And so I made my special turkey burgers and had all my points figured out. And I calculated in my points for one s'mores sandwich, <laughs> which was awesome. And everything else, if I was hungry, I just, there was fruit available. So I just ate more fruit and, you know, obviously drink lots of water. And I've been doing a detox and a cleanse for a couple of months, which I'm not supposed to drink on. So I haven't been drinking. So I haven't used up any points for alcohol because that takes up some points too. But again, you can budget for that. If you know you're going to be someplace where you want to have a drink or two, you can budget for that ahead of time. So I just love this because I can eat whatever I want. As long as I make my points work for me. And someone said, well, what if, what if you just use all your point, points in cake? And I'm like, I could use my cake, my points that way. I could eat 30 points worth of cake every day. But obviously, you're not going to lose as much weight if you're not making healthier choices. But I love it so far. And I've lost about six pounds over two months about. So and my goal is 10. I'm trying to get down 10 pounds. And then once I stay there, I'd love to go a little bit below that, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm just trying to get back to where my body was for, God, like 30 years. <laughs> From the time I was 15, I weighed a certain amount and I didn't really fluctuate more than five pounds until just recently. And if I did, I would, um, you know, either cut down what I was eating or I would exercise more. It was easier for me to lose weight when I was younger. And I don't buy into all of that. Oh, I'm older, so it's harder for me to lose weight. My metabolism is slower. I don't bring that stuff into my thought process because if I do, it's going to really affect my body. So leave all those thought processes behind, regardless of how old you are. You just need to find what feels good as far as food and an eating plan and what makes you feel good and what energizes your body, what gives you the energy and the nutrients that you need. So this is what works for me. And you might have your little vices here and there because I have found mine. My new best friend is fat free ready whip. 
zero points up to 10 tablespoons. So that's like 10 good squirts. So every afternoon I have strawberries and blueberries and lots of radio. <laughs> so that has saved me because that makes me feel like oh, I'm having dessert. So you got to find those things that work for you that make you feel like you're having a treat that you're satisfied, but that don't add to your weight or don't make your food experience detrimental. So I hope this helped you a little bit. And if, if you're looking for something that's going to help you get back on track, you might want to just try Weight Watchers because I think there are a lot of people out there like me. And I know that Oprah, everybody makes fun of her going, I love bread. I love bread, but she loves bread and she can have bread on this. And I don't feel deprived. And in fact, I feel better than I have in a long time. I feel more balanced because I'm having smaller meals that are really satisfying that are really flavorful and I'm eating more throughout the day instead of, oh, I got to have that one meal at lunch and then I got to starve the rest of the day and I can't eat until tomorrow. That is the worst feeling. You don't want to feel deprived. So if you are feeling deprived, that's where things like tapping can come in and help you. If there is a, an eating plan that you really, really want to stick to, and if you are feeling deprived, try that. And it'll help you get over those humps of feeling hungry, deprived, and like you can't do it. So you can do it, but you got to find what works for you. And that's always the thing that feels good. What feels best to you, what feels good to you. So this feels good to me. I will keep you updated on my progress. Check it out if you've never looked into Weight Watchers before, because you can eat anything. It's awesome. And the support there is amazing. So you can either go to meetings, you could do it online. And, you know, I'm, I'm just saying this because it's worked so well for me, even better than before. You know, when I, I, reached one of my goals before and I wanted to get down lower and I couldn't, I was frustrated. So I quit. And that's when I started gaining weight again. And, um, I'm just so happy that I'm back on it. So maybe it'll help you too. So that's my message for you today is find what feels good as far as food. <laughs> and when you find what, what works for you, keep at it. And if you find something new that works better, go to that. You know, you can always be changing and evolving to what feels good in the moment because the thing that works for you now might not work for you a year from now or two years from now. So it's okay to switch it up as long as it feels good to you and it's benefiting you in some way. That's all that matters. Find what feels good. That's why we're here. So I want to thank you for being here and I hope you got something out of today's message and I had fun sharing it with you. And if you would like these videos delivered straight to your inbox every Friday, jump over to my website, tannamarshall.com, get on the mailing list. You get a special message from me every Friday along with this video before anyone else sees it. And also remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And just thank you for joining me. And remember, you've got to find your own little treat. Oh, God. It's so, so good. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things in the whole world. See, I can do that 10 times today, and it's only one point. <laughs> so find what feels good food-wise. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time.